y'all. Here's another front porch stoop speech from the Belvin Bell Casita. I want to give an update on the debate last night. Dr. Crothers, I wouldn't even let you clean my teeth. I asked you, cheers, and they're, they're real, they have coffee stains, by the way. I don't use teeth whitener, as all of y'all know. So, um, but I am doing coconut oil pulling, and that's supposed to help. Dr. Crothers, I, first of all, how the heck did you end up on that stage? Who gave you the right to speak for fluoride. Did the city contact you? Just show up to the League of Women Voters debate? Did they contact you? I would love to know the workflow of how you ended up at the mic last night. Secondly, sir, you stated that the city of San Marcos has been fluoridating the water for seven, eight years. That is a bold and brazen outright lie because I know that shizzle -ba dizzle I believe started with the Mayor Morris administration. I will confirm that. I'm sure Mr. Brandon can confirm it. I, I know he did in the debate footage that's going up right now. CenturyLink, you keep knocking out, well CenturyLink doesn't do it. The cut through guys keep knocking out my internet connection. So you're all going to get blasted with a bunch of blogs. Thank you to everybody who's been giving me positive feedback. I haven't watched, I haven't had cable since 2008. I haven't watched a lick of a TV series or internet news in five months, people. I have no idea what's going on in the world. No idea at all, and I don't want to know. But I do know everything that's going on in San Marcos, and I like to make these blogs. So while y'all are watching your leisure time, official lies, and getting all worked up over things when you should be focusing on something else that they're not broadcasting on the telly, I'm going to give you the hyper-local real deal. Is that not a cool shot or what, people? These are my trees. Well, y'all need to remember about the flooding downtown. They did all those roads. They made them too thin. They put the stupid back in parking in, which the, if you look at my open records request, there was never a public hearing for the back in parking, nor did they listen to the petition from, we have so many cyclists go by and joggers. This is like Jogger Central. They didn't listen to the petition from the downtown business owners saying they did not want back in parking. So A, there was not a public hearing. B, they had resident voices from residents and small business owners and they ignored it. Uh, thirdly, it, well in addition to the flooding and the back in parking, we still are waiting for more ADA spots and we're still waiting for 15 minute parking so students aren't taking all of the parking of the downtown business owners of which whose business have suffered A from construction and B from the flooding. Y'all give rebates and all kinds of PIDs to everybody. I don't even want to know about High Point. I don't know what they're smoking when they do these PIDs. But what I do know is y'all don't give any rebates to downtown businesses, just like the Parklets thing. I went to the mic and I said, hey, y'all, give them some rebates if they have these creative ideas. But no, y'all are going to order some little jigsaw, jiggity things, and you're going to put them in. They're probably going to be from your friend contractors, and that's what we're going to get. Because Parklets is something cool that the League of, League of Cities is blasting, is probably my guess. Or it's some Agenda 21 thing. I don't know. I don't even care about that, really. I just care about stopping things in my town. So that's my coffee talk for today. San Marcos, don't forget, next week is early voting. Our issues are downtown. The flooding, of course. I'm worried about Carson and his development down there in Hunter causing a berm in my neck of the woods. And I'm telling you, if y'all don't know about sinkholes, I don't know what y'all smoke because they are a real factor that people should consider in development. Look at Florida, same exact environmental factors. They've got aquifers and they're doing a ton of development and they're sinkholes, people. Okay, have a great day, y'all.